Hello everyone, welcome back to another reading vlog. This is going to be a spoiler-free romance reading vlog. I have some physical books that I want to read and I also have some books on my Kindle that I started but never finished and I feel like I need to get out of the slump and I need to finish these books because I hate DNFing books and it just bothers me. I really want to read Marriage for One by Elle Mays. Everyone says this book is amazing. Look at the size of this. Almost 500 pages. I need something cute and this seems very cute. Rose and Jack are two complete strangers and they got married so that this building her uncle left her in the will literally goes to her husband and since she doesn't have a husband he kind of proposes to her he's like trying to help her out and she's kind of like skeptical about it this is grumpy x sunshine marriage of convenience and fake dating and it literally has like like all of my favorite tropes in it let's go read this book I just finished the first chapter and it's literally they're they're getting married like there's no explanation it's literally the first line is do not say yes to marrying the handsome stranger you happen to know absolutely nothing about it literally starts with like vows and stuff and i'm like okay we are getting straight to the point i like that so jack is a lawyer he read through the contract he's been like put in charge of like like reading through it or something like that and then he decides that he wants to help her out we don't know what his agenda is yet he claims he needs a wife to basically take to events and kind of like gain more clients and have his clients trust him more if he comes off as a family guy he seems very suspicious <laughs> marriage for one and it took me a little while but I really enjoyed it I liked it it was very slow but it was very different from the other marriage of convenience books that I've read there was just something about it that just seemed very realistic and not sad but it kind of had like that sad vibe but I feel like the main female character really livened things up I loved her she was just like this very bubbly person and giving what she's been through and the state that she's in now I felt like she was just like a very strong character and I loved her Jack the main male character oh he's something else and I'm absolutely in love with him and I think he might just be like one of my favorite book boyfriends right now I don't know he's in like the top the top five i would say his reasoning behind the whole contract thing that they were doing didn't really sit well with me but i just loved the way he treated her and i loved the little things that he would do for her and i don't know i just i liked it this is definitely a five star read for me jack and rose are going to melt your heart okay so the next book that i want to read is love on the brain by ali hazelwood and i've been putting this book off for so long i honestly i'm not even sure what this book is about i know it has to do with like science and scientists and it's like arch nemesis and stuff like that and i'm really hoping it's a very fast-paced book like the love hypothesis i'm hoping the vibe is kind of similar but i want there to be like a lot more tension oh so they were arch nemesis in grad school but now she has to work with him like her big girl job and she is having a hard time like settling in staff is ignoring her um her equipments are missing and the guy her arch nemesis in grad school kind of sees that she's struggling so he kind of softens up to her i really thought he was the one like doing this but he might be an ally this seems like a very quick read so Let's see how far I can get. So it's the next day and I have been reading 
working non-stop all night through the entire day i was up until 2 a.m reading i am obsessed this is so good it's so entertaining and it's very very fast everything is happening so quickly and i love the characters i just love her i love her personality she's extremely funny i have 50 more pages left this is incredible i finished love on a break it was so cute i didn't expect to like it so much it was very entertaining it was just like very fast paced it definitely lived up to its hype the miscommunication in this book though was driving me nuts but i'm still gonna give it a five star because it kind of literally like got me out of whatever it is that i was in that just could not sit down and read a book i'm literally so obsessed with the main male character he is so so sweet i think you should definitely read it because it was just so adorable okay so the next book that i already started reading today because i was just in like this mood to just read very cute romance i'm finally starting nanny for the neighbors by lily gold and so far oh my gosh i could not put this book down i'm on page 68 so far it is so freaking cute i don't know what to expect with this book i already know what i'm getting myself into but i think what threw me off the most is the author's note in the beginning literally it says and this reverse harem romance features graphic steamy scenes between multiple partners don't be fooled by the cute cartoon cover it's very spicy i am fooled by the cute cartoon cover it's so innocent looking i'm in the mood for something very different and i feel like this book is going to give me that basically this book is about these three guys they live in the same apartment and this random baby gets dropped off at their doorstep it's one of the guys's baby they ask beth their upstairs neighbor they ask her for help and officially like hire her to be this kid's nanny she obviously accepts because she has a crush on one of the guys but she's finding all three of them very attractive very excited for this book like i just know that it's probably gonna be a five star read for me because of pure entertainment purposes and i'm already so in love with these characters <music> it has been a couple of days i haven't really been reading that much but i finally finished nanny for the neighbors and oh my god this was so emotional this was not really what i expected i loved it i'm giving it a five star this is my first reverse harem book and yes it is insanely spicy i mean there are things that you i have never read before other than that it had such a beautiful plot i loved each and every character in this book except for the side characters i seriously just adore this book very emotional very sweet i highly would recommend this if you're into very fast paced steamy found family i think you should give this one a try okay moving on to my next book of the month i just received this arc and it was not what i wanted to read this month but honestly it just seemed so good and i just i just have to dive into it so this is the long game by elena armaz and i loved her last book i am so excited to read this one because this is like completely new characters completely new setting this is dual point of view this is slow burn this is small town romance and it's giving very enemies to lover vibes so i'm definitely definitely into this adeline adeline what is her name adeline 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 why is this taking me it seems like something happens there's like a viral video of adeline doing something and it goes viral and her dad is like her boss i guess so instead of firing her he ships her off to the middle of nowhere in North Carolina. She has to help out the struggling local soccer team, which consists of nine-year-old girls dressed in tutus and keep goats as pets. Okay, this seems very interesting. De definitely not something I read on a normal basis. 
And then there's Cameron, the main love interest. They didn't have the greatest first impression, so he doesn't really seem to like her very much. I'm sensing some teamwork happening here, but obviously there's gonna be like some very like rough tension first. But let's dive into this because I'm seriously I, I want to know what this girl does for a living. Wait, is the male character British? Oh my god. I am almost halfway through this book. I seriously cannot put it down. It is so freaking good. These characters, she did not come to play. These characters are like the best characters she's ever written. Honestly, I think this might just be her best book yet. Um, This book is so funny. I had no idea that it was Grumpy x Grumpy. I love that. I am addicted. I'm honestly addicted. Um, the bantering the best bantering ever like this book is putting the spanish love deception and the american roommate experiment to shame it's a five star read for me so far and i'm not even like halfway through it like i'm almost there but oh my god oh my god i'm hoping that i can finish this book today it's five o'clock in the afternoon i really really want to finish this because if i drag it on for too long i will literally get nowhere and it'll put me in a slump like i did with the last book but this is way too good. Let's get back to reading. Cameron's dialogue in this book is literally... It makes you blush. Okay, a little update okay I'm almost at the end I have like two more pages um this did this just end on a cliffhanger am I missing something Is there gonna be a second book? I finally finished it. I loved it. I felt like her writing has very much improved from her last two books. This book is by far one of her funniest books. Her books aren't really like that funny, but this one was extremely funny based on the side characters. And I literally just, I ate it up. I loved it. Like this is a five star read for me because I truly enjoyed it and I love the characters. Um, do yourself a favor and go pre-order this book because it comes out September. This book comes out September 5th. This is like the perfect fall book so you definitely want to have this in your fall reads. This was just so well done. I just, I don't, I have like no words for it but I will do a very lengthy review on Goodreads. I'm gonna start with this one see how far i get i'm kind of scared what if i don't like it then it's gonna ruin the whole series for me you know i think this is small town romance i think this is childhood best friends to lovers or past lovers second chance romance honestly um i really want to go into this book blind because i want to be surprised I started this last night. I literally read 200 pages. I read a hundred page today. This book is so freaking good. I'm loving the small town romance. I'm loving the flirting and the, like bickering. I'm loving like the little flashback to the past. I kind of want to know like what their lives were like before like all of this stuff happened. 
and it's also very emotional and heartbreaking at the same time and i feel like it is super super fast paced i feel like everything is just like happening all at once there's just so many things that are being thrown at me right now and i'm just like i just need to deal with one thing at a time This many pages left okay you guys i finally finished final offer yesterday and i loved it i'm gonna give it a five star because i love these characters so much i don't know how i read this in like two days this was very thick but i felt like it was very short chapters and um it was just like very entertaining and everything was just like happening so fast this book was so adorable it was very emotional i did not expect that i'm not disappointed but the second book is still my favorite book in this entire series and cal is my favorite brother okay so i wanted to read one more book and i have been reading love light love farm farm light love light farms it's like a holiday romantic comedy i've literally been reading this for months now maybe it's because it's giving very like holiday vibe and I'm just like not in the mood for it but this book is fake dating it's like is it childhood best friends to lovers? seriously I cannot remember but it's supposed to be very cute and he seemed to be like so obsessed with her that she's completely blind by it okay so I finished Love Light Farms a couple hours ago and it was eh i feel like i've been reading that book for like two months i literally forgot what it was about and what to expect i just kind of like skimmed through it to be honest and it just i don't know it just didn't do it for me i feel like after the final offer i kind of like went into like a mini brain fog since i have an entire week left of june i wanted to read one more book because i could finish another book in a week right i think i'm gonna pick up breaking all the rules by amy andrews this just seems super funny and relatable the main female character does not have her life together yeah this is kind of giving very small town romance vibe and i feel like i've been reading a lot of small town romance books so i think this just kind of fit the vibe we're gonna start this book like right now So I finished breaking all the rules last night honestly I wasn't the greatest fan of it it is small town romance it is age gap I don't know what would be considered age gap because they are 10 years apart and I don't know if that's considered age gap it was cute but there were just certain things that I found very cringe I don't know I just wasn't really into it yeah i'm gonna give this a three star and because there were some funny scenes in here that i really liked and the main female character is super relatable the whole plot of this book is about her quitting her corporate like nine to five job i would say and she's literally just like had enough of people bossing her around not giving her the promotion she deserves she's been sitting in a corner office for years she's just had enough of it so she quits her life apparently and moves away to this small town and she's just been doing her being pie for breakfast wearing sweats all day literally like living her best life she has enough money to like just do whatever she wants and there's nothing stopping her then she meets this cop and he like instantly kind of finds her attractive and they kind of form like this bond he like shows her around and stuff and like does very illegal stuff with her very ironic for a cop she she just wants to break all the rules and he's helping her it was cute i did like the relationship between the two characters they had very cute moments and i felt like the main male character was very sweet it could have been better but 
I still enjoyed it. If you're into small town romance, um, maybe give it a shot. Maybe you might like it, but it just didn't do it for me. Okay, so these are all the books that I read in June plus the one I read on my Kindle. That's my June reading wrap-up. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give some of these books a chance, and I'll see you guys next time.